Hi. I would like to share with you a poem that I've written. Um, um, it's titled Stepping Off into Space. Um, it's written in 2004. I always feel like I'm just one step away from stepping off into space, going from being here to being somewhere else, <clears throat> beyond this place and time, going from the familiar to the great unknown, from walking on the earth to walking across the cosmos, saying goodbye to all that I would leave behind here, only to say hello to a world far different than the one that used to be home. It's just a matter of time when in the next moment I could step off into space. Now, uh, about uh, about the poem itself, I um, feel like it's talking about uh, like the rapture, uh, that moment, moment when the Lord will uh, call the uh, sound of a trumpet and people would be launched off into space and it's like that that moment when the um, when the corruptible puts on incorruption and uh, this mortal puts on immortality and uh, that's I mean that's uh, feeling feeling like uh, I don't know. Some, sometimes I play with um, like Google Earth, and it's, it's like I uh, zoom zoom into where where my uh, apartment building is in Westfield, and then, and then I zoom out and go to like Earth below us, drifting, falling, floating, weightless, calling, calling home. <laughs> yeah. I like I like the song uh, Major Tom by uh, Peter Schilling. I mean, I mean that I mean that song um, that song nowadays makes me think of the rapture. It's like uh, that moment when um, <coughs> believers little step step from this um, world into into the uh, in, into the into the great unknown. Actually, in, be stepping into heaven. So, like, everyone would be drawn to everyone. Everyone who are believers will be drawn to Jesus Christ. And, like, um, you know, take take us into um, take us to the third heaven, the place where um, Paul or somebody he knew about fourteen year fourteen years prior to. Um, his writing of uh, Second Corinthians uh, visited and um, heard some things that are not lawful for a man to utter. And he's like, there are some things that man is not meant to know. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we have. Um, yeah, we have people like um, Cat Courage. Is like, like say, saying, uh, heaven has this and that. It's like it's like he. Uh, it's like a um, celestial theme park of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have I have a friend uh, at the forum house. He said um, she's been to um, heaven and, um, and I'm, I'm not sure if I could take her uh, story at face value this time. Well, she, she believes that she, she's been in uh, heaven, so. <laughs> and uh, Bird of in the body or out of it, I don't know. 
and I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure she, she knows, I mean, like, um, uh, It's like, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking about this poem now because of, um, recent events like my father being in hospital and, uh, don't know if, uh, he's going to live one more day, I mean, and, and he's like, uh, he's like hopped up on medication. Um, yeah, I, I mean, preparing to say goodbye is, um, hard, hard thing to do, just, uh, you just got, I mean, you just got, uh, Take one day at a time, and uh, just, uh, lean on my heavenly Father. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Got to know um, God and Jesus Christ. As, 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 um, life everlasting. To know, to know God, and know Jesus Christ, and not just in your head, but know in your, in your being. It's like, um, anyway, uh, uh I don't know. Uh, I had I had a terrible dream last night. I was just like um, <clears throat> felt like I was still living with my father, and we were moving out, and um, we got everything packed up, but we don't have a place to go, and that that was felt felt a little angry. It's like um, how can how how can we have have us pack pack up um all our stuff and um, don't have a place to go. And it was like, I don't know, I felt, ang I felt angry uh, for my father just, just for uh, not knowing like, where he's uh, going, where we're going. And like. Uh, I just don't want, I don't, just don't want to, I mean, I just don't want dad to leave the world thinking that I'm feeling angry at, and angry at him for anything. I just, I uh, just want him to have a peaceful journey. And want him to know Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. And that, uh, he can be with him forever. I mean, that's <clears throat> all, I, all I really want for dad right now. Is like, um, I want him to know God, know Jesus Christ. I mean, like, uh, let the last, let, let the last thing that he, um, that would be Jesus. I mean, I know this is. I know this is getting kind of morbid, but um, that's that. Yeah, that's basically what's on my mind right now. <laughs> anyway, that's. All I really have to share with you this morning. So have a good day and God bless you.